This is Koala, the absolute best stunt pilot in the entire game, even having invented most of the trick shots that you may have seen. And then this is me, a random guy who's never really played Rust with only 3 days playtime. And I've asked him to teach me how to fly a minicopter. And of course I'm bringing you along with me, so let's begin. Yo, what's up Green? Yo, what's good Koala? Chillin. Are you ready to do this? Yeah, have you been flying a little bit? I, I took about a half hour in your server yesterday, trying to, you know, I learned how to fly a little bit, and after crashing about 50 times, I managed to move. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, I saw a little bit. I saw a little snippet of what you had to offer, uh, I think on, what was that, Wednesday? So, how long have you been flying in this game? Uh, since they've been out, which I think was tw 2018 or 2019 sometime. A couple of years. Server's only been up since summer of 2020, uh -huh. but I was staff on, like, one of my best friend's server. It's called Madloot. That was, like, the first minicopter server at the time. Oh, yeah. So, you've been into minicopters for quite a while, then. Yeah. So, like, all the tricks that people do, like, tire flips and everything, I kind of started those. I invented chill. But yeah, uh, this guy named Struggles found out that we could hit the tire and just the tire on the minicopter and it would have no damage done to the mini. Mm -hmm. And so I built off that. He discovered something that's called a normal tire flip. I can show you what that is. And this is just the most basic things. We had uh, these little helipads set up and we would do just this trick. You just kind of lean back, you hit the tire, it flips oh, you. shit. Okay, okay, yeah. And then I learned that you can do them on pretty much any surface. So we invented verts. That's a vert. Okay. You know, on a vertical surface. We get kind of a little bit more interesting with it. We do like upside down verts. So you start upside down and then you hit the tire. Oh, we missed it there, but you get the preference. And then we kind of moved up. We also found out you could hit the front tire as well. It has the same effect. Just like that. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> So it, it kind of turned into its own little community. It kind of feels like a skate park. Like that's always what I what I went for. So we've got a, a couple things to learn here. Biggest thing that I say for people that are learning is you just got to practice. Like it's, you got to learn how it reacts. You got to learn the little things because there's a lot of little cues that you can't really teach. They just come with practice. Like, so if you're, if you listen real close right now, when we're upside down, the minicopter actually sounds a little differently. Yeah, yeah. And when we flip back over, you're gonna hear the sound switch. Okay, why and does it do that? No idea. No oh, fucking okay. idea. No <laughs> clue. But uh, I do know that it's a good indicator for when you... So I'm holding S right now to keep us upside down. We're not actually gaining altitude. Like, when you're upside down, you can't gain altitude relative to the world. We'll slowly, slowly lose altitude, even though I'm holding S. But if I were to flip over and say I started hitting W halfway through that flip, we would have dropped out of the sky. So you, a good thing to learn is when to switch from holding S to W, and those sound cues uh -huh. kind of help. Like it's nothing at all, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You just gotta hold S. That's what, the words I live by, that's what I tell everybody, is you just gotta hold S. Yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, that's all you- <laughs> that's it. It's pretty basic. Um, pretty, pretty basic. I'm, I'll be right yeah. on to it within the day, truly. I could teach you to flip right now. I, I'm, flipping is very, very easy. Um, that, that's a I lot won't. of confidence with it. So I can- I'm, I probably won't be able to teach you how to tire flip, the, the more advanced ones, but I can teach you how to flip straight up and like do a backflip right now. Okay. And Even without being able to fly normally, you're confident yep. I can do that. Yep. Okay. Yep. Switch seats. I got you. It's one of the easiest things ever. Hit W. Don't touch your mouse at all. Just fly okay, straight not up. not touching Try the to mouse at all. Don't worry. Don't worry. Yeah. Okay. Just hit W. Hold W. Get us some height. Get us nice and high for your first time. So now you're going to let go of W and you're going to hold S and you're just going to pull your mouse back nice and slow. Nice, slow okay. and even and just don't let go of S. Do not let go of S. Keep pulling. Keep pulling, nice and even. Keep pulling, keep holding S. Keep holding S, keep pulling. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. We are upside uh, and, down. And we're upside down. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. just hold S. It's you know what? Easy. I can do this better than I can fly a helicopter now. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. And now flip it. Keep us flipping. We'll do a full rotation. Because the recovery is usually what people struggle with. Is they, they heart start hitting W too soon. So, oh, see, you hit W too soon. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, just so you need to hold S longer there. Yeah, you need to hold S until you're almost completely back level. We'll try one more time. You got it this time. So I have to admit, so far you're already proving to be the, like, world's greatest teacher of flying. If you can get me to fly upside <laughs> down within 30 seconds, that's pretty wild. You can probably right. do it from this height, too. You're chilling. All right, just hold so S just start going back. Yeah, and just keep... 
don't pause. So what does holding S do in this? Uh, so it's keeping you, it's providing a little bit of downward thrust, but because you're upside down, that downward Holy thrust shit, is now okay. upwards thrust. It's weird how the, 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 the heli mechanics are a little goofy. They're a little clanky. Yeah, so yeah. how they work is just different thrust. W makes you go up, S makes you go down, but it's all relative to the, the rotor, right? So when you're upside down, S is actually making you go up uh -huh. or at least maintain that, uh, that direction. Oh my God. I can actually do flips now. That's crazy. Yeah, and they're smooth too. I, you're you're moving your mouse night perfectly. So if you push forward right now, but held S, we'd go backwards. Like imagine you're flying straight, hold S instead. We're gonna oh, go what back. Oh, the hell? Okay, okay. So it always does thrust in the direction that it's like the the base of your mini cup. I got you. See, I was uh, learning from a couple people I was playing with, and they never even mentioned the S mechanic. Yeah, no, that's huge for all trick. Let's try the the pullback thing at Lighthouse. If you want to fly to the Lighthouse to the southwest of us, let's practice. Oh, I want to see how well you can do that. You managed to teach me how to do a backflip in 30 seconds. Let's see if we can do this in 30 seconds. This might take, this might actually be a little harder, but so we're going to fly towards it. Like we're going to hit it. We're going to pull back and then counter and push back forward again. And just kind of this swinging motion, constantly kind of losing the momentum forwards and back and forth. That's gotcha. optimal for if you're trying to learn to land on something. So say like this helipad up here was my, our base, right? And I was yeah. like, damn, I need to land on it. If I'm coming in at this speed, I need to be able to pull back, stop that forward momentum, but then stop that pullback and just nicely land gently, right? Yeah, that was a really clean landing. Yeah, so lots of people, they'll come in for a landing and they think S is their best friend. S is not your friend when you're trying to land, I'm gonna tell you. Because if I were to come in like this and pull back, but instead hold S, my momentum's still gonna carry through like this and we're gonna crash. Yeah, that's about how I've always seen it happen, yep. Yeah, because when people hold Hold S. Like if I were to pull back here and hold S, we are still gonna keep going that direction. Even though we're pulled back, it's keeping our mem our momentum and our velocity going that way. You minimally want to use S when you're landing, just for fine adjustments. And like, say you've already got the hover. Like say this rock was our base and I'm hovered above, then I can use S. And there's another thing I can teach you after. It's called called a J turn, and it's uh. It's used a lot for like combat situations, but I use it a lot for landing. Basically, you're gonna fly almost like you're flying past your base. You spin back and land like that. So that just really That's helps remove all that momentum and quickly land. Exactly, yeah. So I'm gonna land this here and you're gonna try just the pullback facing the lighthouse, okay? Perfect. I'll land nice and gentle. So like here, I could use S because we have pretty much no momentum forward or back, so you can be pretty good to use it. Gotcha, okay. So we're gonna try going into the lighthouse, but pulling back right before we Pulling back. And then when you pull back, make sure you correct it forwards again too. So pull back and correct it forwards again. P bro. Excellent. Perfect. I'm definitely that holding W a bit too much. much. Going up more, but... That was perfect. I don't know what you mean. Yeah, so try it with some speed. Yeah, go in there. Pull back, pull back. A little Good bit close. Save, though, now. Bit close. Stabilize. There you go. Another thing, too, is you just always got to be aware of what's around you, too. Especially if you're going out of control. You're like, okay, I know there's a fucking big-ass tower behind me, or there's a gate behind me or something. I know I can't yeah. fuck up and hit that. I guess it's where That's one holding th the uh, alt button really comes in to figure out what's around you. And well, so I, I try my best not to use alt. Like, if I'm flying backwards through things, like, as a trick, I'll, like, quickly tap S and drag my mouse to get a quick view. But yeah. when, you're, when you're holding S you've now lost control of your mini. That's true. Like your mouse is now controlling your vision instead of your mini. And if you need to make a quick adjustment, you're kind of fucked. Yeah, so I'll, I'll show you the, the angles as well. You just got to practice. You'll get to know it after a while. But like, say I'm flying over this water here and I don't want to go in. I'm going to keep an angle so that we're going as fast as possible, but not losing any altitude. That's what I was talking about, that optimal angle, right? I see what you mean there. So you're just getting enough height to keep that angle. Yeah. Not going so I'm not up gaining altitude. I'm not losing altitude, but I'm going as fast as possible. If I were to go down yeah we're gonna go faster but we're also gonna go into the water yeah right? i see what you mean though so same thing here i want you to come into the lighthouse with that angle we're, we're not dive bombing it we're not going down we're just coming in at an equal angle pulling back oh. <laughs> <laughs> just like that perfect just like that well and that's the thing too is just recoveries too like i fucked up and then you recover. Do All you of your controls you just again? seem so smooth when you're doing this. It's just like riding a bike to you at this point. Honestly, I think I do this more than riding bikes. <laughs> 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 All right, just go straight up here. All right, I can swing it back. Nice. Now let's try transitioning that into the land. So go to that helipad behind us and try doing that. Try imagining that, but just landing instead. Try to get that angle where we're not losing any altitude. So we're gaining altitude there. Yep. Oh, and that's too far. Gotta find that sweet spot. Pull back. 
now you can hit S. Uh, that was pretty good. That uh, wasn't bad. It'll get smoother over time, you know? It just takes practice. Now let's try actually, there's a base we can try landing on. That big stone one right there. Oh yeah, I see that though. Yeah, let's try landing on that. Just got some, some things that might try to fuck you up. The roof tiles on there for cover. It's a little bit harder to land on. Here we go. Try to position. Pull back. That works too, yeah. Perfect. Alright, that wasn't too bad. You know, it's definitely a lot better than my crashing earlier. Uh... Oh yeah, I'm, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I, I'll be honest, I was trying to teach somebody else to fly today, and they're, <laughs> they're struggling with this part. They are, uh, they're uh Couple crashes, couple day. explosions, you know. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to try learning something a bit more advanced? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah? Kind of getting the hang okay. of all this, you know, let's get a little bit cocky, try doing something I definitely can't do. Uh, so you know, like, cones with cars? Swerving in between the cones and everything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's try doing it with the telephone poles behind us along this road. Oh, jeez, okay. <laughs> so let's start oh, over by the gate. you swerve between those? Oh, god. Yeah. Yeah, I want you to fly through and swerve between. Ah. Uh... It's all about the micro-corrections. Oh. <laughs> I, I can try to show you. Yeah, yeah, go ahead and show me first. Let me see how it's done professionally here. Yeah, so just like going back and forth, nice and smooth, not too fast, not too slow. So are you kind of like nice. just tapping W here to keep the height? Well, I'm holding or? W. Are I'm you holding, holding w. w this whole time? Oh, jeez. I'm just maintaining on average the angle gotcha. that we're not losing or gaining. Like I'll occasionally like let go just a little bit. You don't have to do it too fast. Just you got to practice the micro movements back and forth. All right, and well, then I we'll think see how this goes. Goes, but. I think I can try to teach you how to do a tire flip after. Just try to stay low. I want you to stay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So the goal is to not hit them, right? No. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's where I'm messing up. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah. I, I thought you said to try going straight through <laughs> them. Okay. Yeah, no. I just have to clarify that. You know? No, You're no, no I, I got this now that I know the goal. Yeah, yeah. Let's go back over to the start here. And, <laughs> you know, I, honestly, this is just easy work now that I know how to go around them. We'll, we'll go this yeah. way. We'll go this way. It helps to not go backwards as well. Oh, you're going th to these ones? Okay. Oh. <laughs> See, uh, so I, I think I just still forgot the goal, you, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the light, the light on that one got you distracted. You know, I'm like a moth to the flame sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Let's just drive over here real quick. <laughs> <laughs> this is how I'm going to use the, my, the mini, honestly. Just drive around. Just it's drive right. it everywhere. When you were doing this, was it mostly just mouse movements for you? Or were you also, like, tilting as well? I incorporated a little bit of Andy just to make it easier so I'm not dragging too many in different ways. So yeah. if I'm angled forwards already, and if I incorporate Andy, I can kind of just kind of keep dragging to different directions forward yeah. instead of like side to side like this. Like this is a little bit more of a foreign mouse movement to me is dragging it sideways. But it works as well. It's a little bit more of a swinging motion. Like have you ever seen the, the video of the dogs doing it? That one dog that just looks like he's like curving around it. Yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. <laughs> yeah. You want to be like a race that's dog. That's the goal. You gotta, cause practice makes permanent. It doesn't make perfect. And if you practice wrong, then it's just going to be a pain in the ass later. Ooh. Go one more, one more. You got one more, this. one more, yeah, yeah. I won't be in. I'll, I'll watch, I'll watch. Might help with me not, my big ass head not in the way. Ah, uh, yeah, that's it. Your, your head's just too big <laughs> for me. It's weighing down the front. That's why I'm yeah. losing so far. All right, that's one. Oh, oh that's the tail. Uh, that's... <laughs> <laughs> that's what happened before. <laughs> All right, all right. All right. I'm gonna take us to a spot. We're gonna. I'm gonna teach you how to do a vertical tire flip. Perfect. Let's jump in. I'll show you what it looks like first, and then line up for it and everything. So a vertical tire flip is basically we're gonna go a quarter through of what our backflip was. So we're gonna be doing a, a backflip, but quarter of the way through, we're gonna be hitting our tire on a, a on a vertical edge, okay. like this one, and it's gonna cause us to flip. So the lineup we want is kind of like this, where. Most of my mini, if I was to go straight at it, would not make contact, but just my tire would kind of be in the way. If you're looking down to the right, like yeah, that, I can we're gonna be coming at like this thing. So if I was to come straight at this, right? I would want it like that, where my, just my tire is going to be hitting. Okay, so you kind so of have gonna, to get pretty close to it. Well, no, so you know, once you got the lineups, you just know it. You don't want to line up first. You're going to go up, you're going to hold S, you're going to maintain that <laughs> angle, you're going to hit your tire, uh -huh, uh -huh, yeah. and you're going to flip. I imagine Actually, the correction is kind bad. of the hard part, though. Uh, once you do a couple, it'll it'll start making sense. The hardest part is just getting the angle down and understanding the, the transfer from holding W and going forward to pulling back and holding S at the right time. So yeah. I'll land right here and just hit X real quick. Oh, X? So watch oh, yeah, it. I forgot about that. Yeah, and if I jump out fast enough, it'll actually keep the rotors running if you switch seats. 
I gotcha. You don't know what was a thing. Okay, so we're gonna try going in a little bit off here. We're, we're a lot of bit off, but okay. Oh, you're good though. Uh, let's retry that. Let's retry. Yeah, let's retry, retry. So, also, if you're ever, if you ever like crash and you find yourself upside down, just press S. As oh, soon as that's you can. true. Yeah, because we can just nail that upside down flying and correct from there, right? Exactly. Gotcha. It's gonna be your savior. That's why you'll, I don't know if you've noticed if you got chat on it on the server, but it, usually when people ask how to do a trick, the answer is just hold S because that's just the universal. Every trick requires it. It's just kind of a little joke in the community at this point, but it's gonna. It, it's true. Holding S is the key component because none of these tricks would work really without S. Gotcha. Okay. So we're gonna go up. in. A little bit. So we're a little too far, too far to the left there. Yeah. So you want to start pulling. You want to line it up, stay straight and narrow, and start pulling back way sooner. So I'll, I'll TPS up there again. I know you can do this because I got the other guy to do this as well. Way worse. Oh, okay. So if I don't get it, what does that mean for me then? Huh? It means I'm gonna be changing my opinion. Ah, I gotcha. <laughs> I just have to nail it right okay. here, right now. Yeah, you got this. Go right. nice and easy in through. Yep. Just the micro adjustments. Pull back, hold S. Oh, so, shoot. So we were pretty close there. So he took a little bit of damage, and that's because we weren't pulled back enough. There's so if a, we just pull back even more, then we can only hit the tire. Exactly, yeah. So you, it's a little like weird sometimes. So you see how there's that crossbar that intersects between your axle of the tires and like the front of the minicopter? Yeah, I do. Makes, like, a, makes a diamond. We hit that as well. That's what caused gotcha. the damage. Gotcha. So if yeah. you just hit the tire, though, it does no damage. No damage. Perfect. I'm loving this angle. I'm loving this angle. Pull back. Hold S. You got this. Oh, pull back. Too late. Too late. Good recovery, though. Good recovery, though. You see, this really makes me appreciate how hard your tricks are, though. Like, this is the easy <laughs> stuff to you. Makes me wonder, yeah. though, what is, like, what is the hardest trick that you can do? Uh, reverse entry, spinning, <laughs> spinning front tire invert. Would probably uh, be one of the hardest. Makes total sense to me, yo. Yeah, I could try to do one of those for you. Oh. oh, so that was a little bit better, a little bit better. So even if I start from here, and if I if I have the right line up here, I can hold S from this far away and ah, hit the trick. Ah, okay. You just gotta trust it. Whoop, lag. Yeah, lots of lag. Shitty server. Who, who the fuck runs this shit? Who are you? All right, we're going to try something. So I'm going to get this lined up <laughs> oh, and shit, relatively okay. stable. Yeah. All right. So I want you to spam X to just hit X when I tell you, OK? Yeah. All right. Hit X. Hold uh, hold S. Hit X and hold S. Oh, yeah, shit. Dude, dude, yeah. Dude. Nailed it. Oh, Let's no. Go. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally nailed that all on my own. Hey, all right you. There. All no you. assistance <laughs> at all. <laughs> That was all you. All me, for sure, for all sure. Right, one more try, and then I, I think I'm giving you everything I've got. Because at the end of the day, it just comes down to just practice. It's always practice. I mean, I have 50 hours in this game, and yeah. like 30 of that's playtime. But you got a flip today in the first 30 seconds. That's pretty good. This is so bad. Oh, oh so you almost cool. got it, too. Yeah. You almost got it. Uh, well, yeah, no, that was that was pretty good. It wasn't bad. It was hey, I got one flip in today, and I think that was pretty good. You got good. one. You're flying. Your landing was pretty good. I can't lie. Did a flip, flip upside down. I want to see what you have for your best here, though. I want to see best? what uh, the best you can do is right here, right now. We're gonna do. We're gonna try a couple runs. We'll try a couple runs. That's the fine. lobby. All right, so I'm gonna try to do that trick I told you. This is the reverse entry, spinning front tire invert. All right, all right. So reverse entry. You spin here, you keep the rotation going, and then I got a front tire invert off that ledge. That's the goal. So we're trying to hit an inverted front tire flip. One of the hardest tire flips, but we're just adding, making it even harder by adding a bunch of so spins. So that seems insanely difficult to do, and I'm excited to see you pull it off. <laughs> it's also very touchy. Like front tire, the front tire hitbox is a lot smaller. It's a lot more finicky and just clanky with how it works. So sometimes it feels like a little bit of luck. Uh -huh. <laughs> into it. Oh, I think you're gonna have see it how? I see what you yeah. mean though. A little bit of luck involved. It must just look like I'm flailing about in the air sometimes. <laughs> sometimes <laughs> it definitely looks that way, but you can tell how calculated it is too. Sometimes I barely know what's going on too. Like I'm just hitting buttons, hoping it does something. Oh. It's like asking Tony Hawk or someone to do the craziest trick and they're probably not going to be doing it every time, you know? Something yeah, of course. They're still working towards. It's a bit difficult. Yeah. This is like a, this is a crane flip. This is what, basically what you're doing, but through a Shoot. crane. Okay. It's a vert and then you can link it into a spinning vert off this pole. 
Oh, right, yeah. Uh, See, I didn't even know this whole like, world of, like, trick shots even existed inside of Rust till like, two days ago. Yeah, man. Now you're out here just doing them in the driver's seat while I'm in your passenger flying upside down doing trick shots <laughs> off stuff. It's like a whole hidden community. It's kind of crazy it really is and that was our training session with koala it was honestly a super fun experience and i would love to do that type of stuff again if you enjoyed this video make sure you go and check out koala over in his youtube channel and check out his server if you would like to learn how to fly a minicopter yourself and with that thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time peace